Jesus, the very thought of thee is only one of 27 hymns sung before the sacrament. So with 52 weeks in the year, we're likely to sing this hymn at least twice. This hymn is truly ancient, at least the text is. And um, just for reference, the text for all creatures of our God and King was written in the early 1200s. And this hymn was written a hundred years before that by St. Bernard of Clairvaux. Um, he, like St. Francis, was born into nobility. His father was a knight and he was well-educated. He became an abbot, um, was considered a doctor and a mystic and known for his meditative temperament and holy life. St. Bernard's Latin text wasn't translated into English until the 1800s by Edward Caswell. And then it was sung using the hymn tune written by John Dykes, and he entitled that tune St. Agnes, after the story of a young girl in ancient Rome who was beheaded for her belief in Christ by the Emperor of Rome. So we have these two parts of this hymn coming together, St. Bernard's tender meditation on his feelings about Jesus Christ and his devotion to his Savior, and then the music written to evoke that strength and love and testimony of this young girl who was martyred for her faith. So I think it's a pretty powerful combination. So I add my own testimony to these already significant ones, and here is Jesus, the very thought of thee. <laughs> 